Okay, welcome to part two of my lecture on access, which is, of course, I'm sorry to bother you, but the information that was in the book was just not quite clear. So I want to go ahead and clear up some of the things um, about access. Now, if you'll recall that we just went ahead and we set up um, a table. Now, um, and, and, and in uh, setting up that table, uh, for example, we went ahead and uh, looked at it on over here in design view. And in that case over here, we had information here such as, um, actually, this is not the table we were looking at. So let's close this on out. So we went ahead and um, uh, took, took a look over here um, uh, at this information in here, and again here, we I believe we left off uh, this, the date of birth, if I didn't cover that um, uh, on the last one, I apologize on that. But for the date of birth over here, you would simply type in date of birth, put in your date uh, and time, and for this um, uh, particular thing here with date and time, you don't have to worry about um, the size um, of your uh, field or the format. We just wanna go ahead and do date and time and everything will work on out um, uh, automatically. Now I'm going to click over here to enable my content so we can see um, uh, everything uh, that, that's actually uh, in here. So again we would have at this point having set this up uh, in here unique identifier students phone number remember of course here uh, in, the um, in this we put in our um, our input mask our date of birth date of time we went ahead and we saved this and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to come back over here into data sheet view so here in the data sheet view we'll go ahead and we will type in um, uh, this this information in here and it will be automatically uh, saved every time we go from one place to uh, uh, to another now I want to go ahead and show you one thing about uh, eight Um, go ahead and show you here about the date the phone number here I'm going to take this phone number out and if I take that phone number out if you click on over here you'll see that see you've got your little parentheses and these numbers in here and because you went ahead and um, uh, and formatted this correctly you can go ahead and t put your phone numbers in here uh, exactly four seven eight seven nine six four two four two okay and then remember of course that in our case here we're just going to hit our tab mark and I'll move it over here now because databases are normally shared among various computers um, at once or sometimes um, they'll actually be on a server uh, what can happen here is that each time that you hit the enter key or the tab key as you go through each one of these it will save that information on your main computer if it happens to be your computer here um, or if it happens to be your server then that information is saved and that also enables you if you are working with um, uh, with somebody else who's also uh, accessing a database you won't have two people working on uh, the same uh, fields at the same time it gets rather complicated uh, in here and I'll talk to you all a little bit more um, about that so we've got this information in here and we've typed typed this information in here and here's our um, again our account information boom boom and this account information is is already filled on out now if you take a look on, on over um, uh, in here we can actually um, uh, look look in here for our account information and I'm going to um, pause for just one second and I want to make sure that I have the files uh, that I need for the account information. So for right now we're going to go ahead and uh, pop, pop on over here and we want to actually create or actually import some information here uh, into a new table. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, in this case uh, on, on over here 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to external data and in this case here we're going to look for a new data source because that's just the way that the mine's looking normally normally uh, there would be um, an import under import in here you would have an Excel file uh, on normally would be closer here but in this case here um, since these are all export files and, that, and the import files is not showing we're going to go to import and link over here and in this case it's going to be from file Excel and they'll show on over uh, in here and so from uh, from this place here I'm going to go ahead and go um, here into again I'm sorry go ahead and go into my downloads and we're going to click on this account one and you're in your case it's going to be uh, account in this case here we're going to go ahead and we're going to import it says over here import the source data to a new table in the current database and that's what we're going to do today if we already have um, some information we might want to impend it and so we would go ahead and choose this and we've got personal information but that's the only one going here or we could always link to the source we're not going to deal with either one of these today we're going to go ahead and we're going to import uh, on over here to uh, uh, to this section here and then click on uh, OK so we're going to import this um, and in our case here I do trust this information here and you'll see here that we want to check over here we've got account number account name street city state and post as all in row one and these are our column headings so we want to make certain that that is um, uh, is taken care of so we'll go ahead and click over here and again we've got the account number the account name um, and in this case over over here Um, uh, in, in this case here they say here that go ahead and let access add the primary key uh, we're going to import this to a table uh, in here and in this case here we're going to go ahead and call this table account info okay in this case here we're not going to worry about much else but then we'll go ahead here and finished and there we have here account info we click over here on this boom boom and look at all the information over here uh, that was saved now in this case here um, with account number oh uh, excuse me uh, with account info um, uh, information here um, that ID number um, was actually um, actually put uh, uh, put in incorrectly so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a change in here for this uh, I, I'm over here so for this case over here we're going to delete this field and can't delete it um, okay and the reason why is because it has a primary key uh, on it so what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back over here to this and yeah that actually is what happened here again automatically this came on up with auto numbers so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to delete this particular row yep okay and in the case uh, on over here we see that that's going to be the case now my account number I'm going to want to go ahead and make that as my primary key and if we go back here let's go ahead and hit on the save function and then let's view our information and you see now we have all this information over here we want to go ahead and double click on this and double click on everything here uh, to make it fit correctly so this is what they refer to as best fit 
and as I was saying before, I actually prefer to do this backwards. Um, and you can do it either from left to right or from right to left. I like to do it from right to left, but again, that's just me. And you see on over here where this is going to be more efficient than anything else. And again, we've done all this. I'm going to hit the save button again here because I have changed um, this particular structure. So now you see that you have all this information over here in my account info uh, table here and over here into my personal uh, information uh, uh, information here. So that pretty much uh, takes care um, of that issue uh, too. So we've gone ahead here and we switched on over here uh, uh, to this. We have gone ahead and, and switched back here into the account uh, or coming into the personal information and we have typed in this information all accordingly uh, from what we had had set set on up and this would have been uh, data that you would have um, um, have done before um, and then having done having done that we move on uh, here and this is actually the toughest part or we've just finished over here with the toughest part so this being the case, let me go ahead and stop all this and we'll go ahead and we'll go into part three in just a second.